Look at this. It says Soror. What's up YouTube, it's Kira here and we are back with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kira Ray, and if you're returning, then welcome back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all, this video, oh my gosh, I have been waiting so, so long to make and to post. Like I, the excitement that I'm feeling right now is literally just months and just, of just, it's months of excitement. As you can see, I know y'all see my stuff back there and y'all can tell by the title, I joined Sigma Gamma Rail Sorority Incorporated and <sighs> baby. <laughs> I am just, I'm just, <sighs> I feel at home and I am just so proud of myself. Um, it's been a long time coming and it's been a long, long, long journey to Sigma Land, very, very long but I made it and I'm here I got the stuff I literally have the stuff so. <laughs> yeah I just wanted to come on here and share this with you um, and just kind of share the reason and kind of my thoughts around joining a D9 sorority so for the longest time I man you can ask anyone like past roommates or like my sisters or just anyone in my family I used to be that person that was like no a sorority no i was like i'm not doing it i'm not i'm not all about it like but anyway i got to college and i was like you know it looked a little tempting you know i would go to hump nights and stuff and um seeing all the organizations out there you know repping their letters and also i would go to some events and hear them talk about it you know it's, it's not a little interesting and a little tempting but even then, I was like, mm, no, we're not going to do it. And also, I am a dance major, as literally everyone knows. And my schedule with dance is just too much, too much. And I was like, there's no way I can make it work. But, you know, this semester came. And yes, this is another reason why I was away from YouTube for so long, because I've just been dealing with everything that I said in the video yesterday, but also I've been, you know, on the journey to Sigma land. But yeah, this semester I took some time away from YouTube and I was able to focus on myself, but I also um, kind of, I took myself out of some things that I just really needed a break from and all those revolving dance. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to actually take the time and join an organization that I really want to be a part of so that's what i've been doing this semester one of my friends who's actually the president of our chapter on campus she was talking to me about sigma and you know it just seemed it seemed right up my alley like our mission statement you know it's all about education health awareness and leadership development and i was like all of those things like i have some kind of interest in and some kind of experience in and like when I would look at the mission statement of Sigma Gamma Rho, you know, compared to like Alpha Kappa Alpha or Delta Sigma Theta, like it just seemed more like the perfect fit for me. And just the people, um, a part of the sorority, I've just always known to be very like loving and down to earth and just, you know, chill, not doing too much. And I feel like that was right up my alley. It is, it is one of the best decisions I've ever made. I do not regret it at all. And I have spent, you know, so much time like getting to know um, my sisters and it feels great. It feels great. And something that I will tell you guys is just literally just don't believe all the stereotypes out there. Like, please do your own research and go and like talk to the people actually in the organizations because a lot of the times they'll prove you wrong, you know, and prove you wrong in the sense that like, all the stereotypes out there like literally exist for why like they don't even make sense yeah she's a she's a sigma woman she's a she's a pretty poodle <laughs> this 
this video is super short. Like, it's literally just me talking about, you know, a <laughs> sigma gamma roll. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But I did want to show you guys some of the paraphernalia that I got. Um, one of my, it's so funny, one of my roommates from last year, um, we would always be like, I oh, want the jacket. I want the jacket. And of course, that's not the only reason I joined the organization, but I was like, that jacket, man. I'm like, I know I've made it once I've got my jacket. And I got my jacket, y'all. I got my line jacket. I got two, actually. I have, my mom bought me one as a present. And then we have like our line jacket that all my sisters have. Let me show y'all. Hold on now. I know y'all see this jacket. <laughs> we got a jacket. <laughs> yeah, I'm so proud of myself, especially like just this semester, there were so many things going on. Y'all already know, y'all heard yesterday, like just so many things. And just for me to like, just persevere and keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going even though like i felt like all these bricks were just being thrown onto me and i felt like i was just getting buried like i made it i made it and i feel like this is my reward there we go like it just it just feels so good to know that i accomplished something so huge also like this is big this is big and literally like i'm telling you guys the day I joined, I literally felt like I stepped into history, which is kind of crazy to say, you know, but yeah, I just wanted to get on here and share this with you guys because it's pretty, you know, being, trying to join a D9 organization, being a dancer is very difficult extremely difficult and when you come in as a prospective student or like when I came in as a prospective student you know like I asked the question hey is sorority and fraternity life possible and they say yeah but that is now that I've actually joined you know a d9 sorority like that answer mostly caters towards white sororities and you know I don't I don't think they know that I don't think you know leaders know that there's a difference but there is it's a little difficult and there were some things that I had to give up but it was so worth it and I'm so proud of myself that I did it and I now get to be a part of history and celebrate with you know hundreds of thousands of sisters all over the world and be a part of this grand like just network of people and I, you know I, I just have so many connections everywhere now and it just ugh, it feels it feels so good and yeah but I just wanted to share that with you guys um, I was going to go through my paraphernalia and try it on but I think I might just do a little clip of me doing some little zoom ins and stuff because I don't feel like putting a lot on I really don't I really don't but I did want to get on here and share with you guys my accomplishments and yeah but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys next time